Hello everyone this is from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Shenzhen. In this paper, we present a vision-based system that enables a fast and comfortable robot to human handovers of different objects. The ability to hand over objects to humans is critical for robots that are designed to assist people in different environments. For example, robots can help older adults with mobility limitations and bring convenience by fetching objects. It can increase efficiency by handing off tools to workers. However, because the grasp of a robot influences the grasp of the human. One of the key challenges is the comfortable handover pose. At the same time, current human to robot handover rarely consider hand movement based on computer vision. In this work, we present a vision-based reactive robot to human handover system. The system is divided into three parts namely grasp model, hand tracking model, and delivery model. When the robot start up, it uses a handover pose generator to create comfortable human hand grasp type. Based on this prediction, robot creates a safe gripper pose by collision detector and executes the planned grasp by kinematic solver. After the robot turn around, we detect the 2D coordinates of 21 human hand joints in real time and construct a human hand coordinate system based on depth information. Based on the 21 joint points, we use the differentiable hand model named Mono to reconstruct hand mesh. This mesh is used to avoid collision with human hand when robot executing. According to the reactive judgment conditions, the robot determines its own state and enters the delivery mode. It plans the suitable trajectory with the consideration of the human hand. Finally, the robot executes the trajectory and successfully delivers the object to the human hand. We can easily calculate the three-dimensional point coordinates based on the camera model, and then use the three points to construct the global hand coordinate system. By convention, we define the inner side of the right hand as the positive direction of the z-axis, and the left hand in the opposite direction in order to ensure the consistency of the human hand coordinate system. The reason for choosing points 0, 5, and 13 is that previous studies have shown that the deformation of these three joint points is the smallest during the movement of the human hand. This ensures that the plane on which the three points lie is always the determined palm plane. The calculation of mono relies on shape and pose parameters, and its output is the deformed hand mesh and local hand coordinate system. Based on differentiable property of mono, when the input parameters are initialized, the error function is constructed with the 21 three-dimensional joint points obtained by hand tracking model. The purpose of Lu's function is to initialize the parameters of first frame. After initialization, Manilayer continually optimize the current frame based on the previous frame. Given a CAD model, we need a model that provides a hand pose and grasp type. We choose published work which named GANHAND Neural Network as the hand pose generator. GANHAND takes a single RGB image of one or several objects and predicts how a human would grasp these objects naturally. Based on the desired pose of the hand, we use a collision detector to set the human hand as an ungraspable area and make a grasp planning. We select the grasp parallel to the direction of the human hand as the grasping target of the robot. Finally, we use the KDL library to complete the kinematic solution of the end pose. The robot gripper generation strategy we adopted based on human hand grasping has achieved good results on different objects. In the experiment, we presented three types of objects in turn, water cup, can and scissors. In each delivery, the recipient can adjust the posture of the hand arbitrarily. Robots can comfortably and accurately deliver object to human. Our reactive strategy sets the state of human hand movement as high priority. Because during the movement of the robot, it needs to determine whether the position of the human hand changes. This priority ensures safety and determine whether people want to accept objects. The robot needs to calculate new handover point and change motion after the hand moving. As can be seen from the data distribution in the table, the success rate of our system does not depend on specific object and our system can achieve a high success rate. The main reason for failure is that, when the human hand moves, some parts of the robot arm may occlude the human hand in the robot's view, causing the robot to fail to correctly estimate the pose of the human hand. In conclusion, we propose a vision-based robot to human handover system. When faced with a variety of human hand positions, the system can achieve comfortable handover. We use visual feedback to determine the hand position and handover point in real time, and reconstruct the hand to prevent collisions. At the same time, robots give priority to human grasping habits, so that people can get objects more comfortably. Besides, our system has a high success rate on different objects. In all experiments, the robotic arm did not collide with people.